What is up, everyone? Uh, we are live um, with this new gear dungeon. Uh, again, I tried to fix my webcam today. I don't know what the heck's going on. Um, hopefully, I can get that fixed uh, sooner than later. Um, but uh, here we are with the new gear dungeon. Um, so a couple things to note. Uh, it is only open for a week. Uh, you do get some um, new gear sets, which is pretty cool. Um, we do have uh, increased crit damage, increased attack, which is pretty darn sweet. Increased healing and rage regen, great uh, for healers. Um, increased damage, bonus damage uh, as well in some of these accessory pieces. So, uh, And then you can also get some of the other pieces here. Um, and virtually all the gear sets. So you do have in one attempt the opportunity here um, to get, get some of these pieces and these unidentified pieces as well, um, which I did have one and I haven't pulled it yet and I want to pull it on this video. Uh, but you do have an opportunity. Rather than coming here and doing 10 runs of Gear Raid 1, to try to get some of these gear sets and then 10 runs of gear raid two and 10 runs of gear raid three to try to get these. You can just do gear dungeon and have a chance to get a little bit of everything. Uh, and I just did 10 runs and I think I got like two or three pieces of each gear raid um, when I went ahead and did it. So pretty sweet. Now gear raid one and two, you do get um, uh, random mythical pieces uh, but when you get into uh, three and higher, that's when you get these new gear sets uh, and some of the uh, ultimate uh, 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 items here. So, but warning, it does scale quickly. One was pretty easy, two, decently easy, three, it's a challenge, um, mainly because that boss nukes real hard. Uh, they have P damage immunity um so you want to increase the uh, number of mages that you are bringing as you move down now you control immunity so you don't can't control these things you can't freeze them or stun them um and then you know they start to become invisible and then they progressively get harder and harder and harder so i'm just going to go through a run here um We'll see if I can even do it on video. But what you do want is you do need some defenders. You do want some um, heroes that can hit in um, multiple uh, squares. Uh, you do need some healers, absolutely. So I'm bringing two healers. I'm bringing uh, three tanks. I'm bringing the one damage dealer. I'm bringing some mages here. Um, and we're going to see if we can get this done. All right. So we're going to try and bring um, another nuker. Um, maybe even another tank or another healer. Uh, I need to get that. I'm going to bring Lassier. Uh, I think in a couple of days we're going to have a hero training event. So I'll bring Lassier. Um should be okay with, yeah, let's bring another healer. That was my challenge. We'll see how uh, quick it scales and we'll see how well we can get this done. Um, you are going to get overrun by um, heroes. Uh, so if you can get the tanks down and that support down, And then the heels down. As you can see, they're not taking any damage whatsoever. So we're going to try. Get some magic nukes in there. And see, here's where we start to get overrun. 
uh, and the tank dies and we're done. That is literally how hard it is. Um, you need to get all this magic damage down. You need to get your heroes down. You need to get the healing down and you just don't have enough time. Like this is not a, like, this is no joke uh, of a session. So uh, as you're going through it, just keep that in mind. Um, one and two, but by all means, right, right, let's just do a quick auto fight. By the way, this background feature is amazing. Uh, and we'll quickly go through it. It's going to take a couple of minutes, um, but you get the idea. So it gets to tell you, cat. you still get that, um, reduces the amount of physical damage that is received. Um, as you could see, that doesn't really matter in step two. We're just going to keep applying the heals, um, get the defense. Here we're getting overrun, so this is where the control comes in. You want to get them slowed up, um, and then they're going to start coming from the top. So you do need to split your squad up, um, and, and then they start to come in fast and furious uh, as you go. So that ultimately is the, kind of the first couple of stages. You probably have done it already. I'm going to try to find some good techniques, uh, good placements. Uh, half the time, again, I'm trying to use Boreas before I decide to strip him just to see how well um, he does uh, and, and how much, well, this dungeon, as you get up to stage four, three and four, you can't control him anymore. So Boreas is no longer viable anyways, um, regardless of the nerf to him. Um, but as you can see, you know, you still have your damage, you have your range, uh, you're still managing to um, do that. And again, this is our last run and we're clean. So there we go. Gear wise, again, we have, what are we going to get? Oh, my tank is only 50. Probably should work on that. Okay, you get these little crystals in these dungeons. So I already got 600. You can get buy stuff in the shop with them. Um, again, life force. So great. Uh, that can get sold. You do only have a limited number of keys in the six days. So keep that in mind. Um, we're going to go to the foundry here. Now, as you get up to three plus, you're going to get these fabrics. Uh, and once you get 20 fabrics, you can actually uh, craft one of two of these sets. Uh, and same with the scales. You do farm scales as you farm the dungeon more and more, and then you can get these sets. Uh, I do have the one piece of identified, so let's unidentify it together. There's no silver co gold cost. That's actually a very sweet piece. Crit damage with crit rate, attack bonus, and attack speed. Pretty darn sweet. Um, on top of that. Pretty darn sweet piece, actually. Increase the damage by 25% after making some crit hits. Um, we're going to have an increased... Uh, and then let us let us roll that piece now and see what happens. Um, oops, where was that? Here it is. And then, of course, it actually has this additional benediction uh, piece that when HP is over 50%, we're increasing healing effect by 9. Okay. Um, but, uh, you know, if you're putting it on a, on a champion, on a hero that doesn't take a hit, kind of useless. So let's see. Good start. Good start. I'm already liking this piece. Crit. Let's get nice and high. Okay, decent. I like a little bit more. And then we got attack speed. Attack speed's great. Um, let's just max that out. Amazing. So great piece. Um, super happy about that. This is definitely going to right there. Uh, other than this added attack that is being replaced with HP. Not a problem for Abomination, actually. Um, getting a little bit more crit rate and uh, more attack speed. Um, could always help as well. Um, but I'm going to find a home for this right away uh, on any of my um, heroes.
I do have crit rate here because I do want to ensure I, I make sure I crit for the consistency of that. Um, it's also on an offset. So, so anyways, I'm going to find a home for, for that piece now. Hopefully you have some better luck and uh, we'll catch you all in the next video. Take care, everyone.